Hey folks, Tom Vassell here and welcome to a look at the Dice Tower new convention library for Dice Tower Cruise and Dice Tower Retreats. This is the one the room we'll be playing the retreat in. So this should be a kind of a quick overview of our library. This is not Scythe, by the way, this is King of Tokyo. I'll have to mark that box up so people know. Almost all these games, when you see this, you know, the game, it almost always includes its expansions inside. So like uh, our soup here, which is Primordial Soup, has its expansion. And, uh, you know, they, we Cry Havoc has its expansion inside it. There's Underwater Cities. That's one that's guaranteed to be played the whole time we're here. I'm sure. Architects of the West Kingdom. That will probably be played. That's a lot of boxes for Arcadia Quest. Down here, oh, Lords of Hellas. Of course, that will probably get played. Uh, Ex Libres. Moving along over here, you can see... Fertility and Outback, and there's Nemesis. So that's, you know, the hot new game. A lot of people will be checking that one out. Thanos Rising, um, Master of the Galaxy, Woodlands. There's New York Slice. But we got Classics. See, there's Puerto Rico and Lifeboats. Two very different games. Las Vegas on top. There's Alta Plata on its expansion. Black Orchestra. Smartphone, that's pretty neat. We got some Aeon's End stuff here. Some Red Raven goodness over here. Um, and a bunch of unlocks so six different unlock games if people want to try those out up here we got ghost stories teenage vintage turtles there's the new alone we got some party games here if you want to party it up and a bunch of smaller games here some of these games we're actually going to be reducing to a smaller size and i'll show you that in a bit uh down here lots of different games Alrighty, there's Terraforming Mars bursting at the gills underneath Obsession. And here we have our bins. This is kind of cool. This is from Board Game Geek and Ernest and our group did this. So you can see this has a bunch of smaller games involved in them. So for example, here's bin two. I'm pretty, pretty happy with how this looks. See a bunch of small games here. Each of these... Uh, it shows, you know, you can see how many players it has, the, how long it takes. And this is just a really nice way to keep track of all these smaller games. And so I'm pretty happy with that. There's nothing personal. No one wants to play that one. Uh, down here, we got some, there's some space for some more games. Not too much, though. There's the giant smash-up box, Champions of Midgard. Sherlock Holmes, Consulting Detective. Oh, how I love you. Orleans and its expansions. Robinson Crusoe. There's some more small stuff. And then we'll swing around over here. There's Anachrony and its expansion. Oh, that white box. I'll have to like turn that around so people can see what it is. Reef and Azul joining forces together. And just because I don't like a game doesn't mean it's not going to be in the library. So there are some games in here you're like, I thought Tom didn't like that. Well, yeah, but just because I don't like it doesn't mean other people won't enjoy it. Like Forbidden Sky, I'm not a big fan, but maybe other people will. There's a humongous mage knight on the bottom. Concordia, there's Blood Rage. I'm sure that will get played. Feast for Odin. It's a Viking column in the middle. There's all the new Fireball Island stuff. There's Root. That's guaranteed to get played. Carpe Diem. The and there's our giant Taki Noko in the middle. <laughs> Mech's first meeting in Twilight Imperium 4. The era of big games there. And then Scythe right next to it with everything inside. All the stuff for Eldritch Horror. Down here, there's Cosmic Encounter. Some more small games. Imhotep, Expansity, Treasure Island. Beast of Balance, Dominion, Ice Cool. Lighthouse Run, Ariel, The Godfather. So that's, that's, that's it there. So you can see, here we'll pull back. We just did this. This was a, I mean, we, in half an hour, we had this unpack. We didn't put in alphabetical order. It doesn't really matter when the library is this small. But that is what the Dice Tower library currently looks like. Now, it's not the biggest library you've ever seen for sure. But hopefully you'll see a lot of good games there. Hopefully you can join us sometime on the cruise. 
or on one of our future retreats. And I tell you, this is only going to get bigger and better as time goes by. I already have like 30 more games winging their way towards my house that are here to be added to this collection. But I think this is a pretty good start. Until next time, I'm Tom Vassell. You've been watching The Dice Tower. See you next time.